In a forthcoming paper, more than 200 scientists are urging the World Health Organization to give more attention to the coronavirus spreading through the smallest of droplets produced by just talking, for example. These linger in the air for hours, unlike droplets from sneezing or coughing. Other scientists have found that the virus has mutated to become even more infectious, but not more deadly. Yi Gyeonghun reports. COVID-19 could be harder to stop than previously thought. The New York Times has reported that airborne transmission of the coronavirus is possible. It says some 239 experts from 32 countries have sent an open letter to the World Health Organization saying that tiny particles smaller than droplets may linger in the air for hours, infecting people even in socially distant settings. That's contrary to the WHO, which has long insisted that the primary mode of transmission is large respiratory droplets that quickly fall to the ground and that airborne transmission only occurs in hospital during medical procedures. Even until very recently, it has denied the possibility of airborne transmission, citing lack of evidence. And South Korea echoed the WHO's stance on Monday following the news. We can discuss the matter once objective evidence comes out. So far, we believe that more studies and evidence should be found in order for the country to officially confirm the possibility of airborne transmission. Other studies have found that the virus has mutated, making it more infectious than before. In a study published in the journal Cell, the new G variant of the coronavirus is dominant globally and is six times more infectious than the previous version. That's also had an impact on South Korea, with the country confirming that the GH variant under the G group has been the most common strain in the country since April. In recent months, the GH strain has been the major trend in COVID-19 cases in South Korea. We believe that's because a lot of entrants came to the country during March to April, and the virus they've imported is the major source of transmission. An expert said, however, the key is how major the mutation is, and so far no major mutation has occurred to make the vaccine development go back to square one. Yi Young-un, Arirang News.